morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. According to a recent Harris poll, only one in three Americans say that they are really happy. The poll also suggested that happiness in the U.S. has gone down the past two years. With all of that being said, this morning I have on the happiness coach, Marbeth Dunn. She has tricks and tips that can bring joy to anyone's life. Marbeth, thank you for being back with me today on the show. Happy to be here, Jenna. <laughs> you know, Bill Murray got to live the same day over and over again on Groundhog Day until he got it right. But we have to live each day uniquely, which is why I'm so happy today to share with you three secret tips that Jim Carrey, Steve Martin, and Ellen DeGeneres use to have a happy day. Well, wonderful. So if they use these <laughs> tricks, then I think we need to use them, and hopefully we can have that happiness in our lives. Absolutely. So the first secret trick I call the Steve Martin. You know, Steve Martin <laughs> rose to stardom by having an arrow on his head while he was doing his stand-up. Mm -hmm. He was hilarious. So look for the absurd in your life. Look for the absurd because when you're seeing absurdity, you can't help but be happy. Mm -hmm. The second secret trick I call the Jim Carrey because you want to exaggerate, over-exaggerate, especially when you're experiencing a hurt or a loss, you're feeling angry or upset in your life, you start to exaggerate, exaggerate, exaggerate that feeling. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Oh, I'm so angry. Well, the more you do that, you can't hold it. It, it becomes so absurd, you have to let it go. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I like it. So really exaggerate how you're feeling, and then you'll realize just how silly you're being. Absolutely. And the third secret trip trick, the third secret trick, Ellen DeGeneres. Mm -hmm. She is so happy. She gets up and dances. So if you can get up and dance spontaneously, you can't help but be happy because you're feeling light, you're feeling music, and when you start to move, oh boy, you feel good. <laughs> all these tricks that you just told us, Marbeth, it's all about not taking life so seriously, isn't it? Absolutely. You don't want to take so life so seriously because when you do, you, you start to tunnel vision. You're either focused on your past, you're focused on your future, you're not here in the now. Mm -hmm. And the now is where we need to be. It's our pivotal point of power. Marbeth, the last time you were on the show, you, you briefly discussed your happiness formula with us. Can you share that formula again today? Oh, absolutely. H is for happy. H is for your heart. To be in your heart, you can't help but be happy. It's where you connect to other people. It's where you connect to your inner guidance. A is for appreciate. You want to appreciate everything in life because everything is a gift, even if it doesn't feel like it's a gift. It's a gift. It's an opportunity for you to grow. And P is for positive. You want to be positive because when you have positive thoughts about other people and positive thoughts about yourself, you feel better. The second P is for play. Play your way through your day and don't sweat the small stuff. And Y is for you. It's your responsibility to take, to be happy, to watch your thoughts and be happy. Now, Marbeth, I want to go back to the tricks you shared. I want to go back to, you know, the little props. Do you get up and do you dance every morning? Sometimes. <laughs> My fiance gets up and sings. He starts singing <laughs> first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. I love to sing in the morning. I do, what I really like to do in the morning is to get into a state of gratitude, to think of everything that I have to be grateful for and that I appreciate. And the more you focus on that, it elevates your spirit. It elevates your capacity for happiness. Mm -hmm. And it sounds like some of these tricks, it might not happen all at once if you use them to your life, but gradually, gradually, each day, if you keep at it, the happiness can come, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. When you start doing one thing a day and then you add it to something the next day, it's like my book, The Joy Strategy, 31 Days to Health, Wealth, and Happiness. Every day builds on the day before, and before you know it, 31 days later, you're in a place of happiness. Mm -hmm. And your strategy has really worked for people's lives, Marbeth. You have been speaking all over, not just our country, but all over the world. That's right. Really changing people's attitudes. Yes. I love to get my message out because 
it's so important when you can take responsibility for your life and start to feel happy you begin to release all the hurts the losses the limiting beliefs that have kept you stuck and your power your potential is unlimited mm -hmm. now Marbeth we were talking earlier about the Harris poll and I told our viewers how it it reported that only one in three Americans say they're really happy you also read a study that said that happiness does a affect a person's health absolutely the the study is a very recent study from UCLA where they compared the genes of people who were happy with people who were happy with a purpose so the first flavor of happiness they called hedonic happiness and that is just happy just feeling pleasure you're just going for what feels good the second one is for living a life of happiness with a purpose those people actually have stronger genes they have a stronger immune system and stronger antibodies than the others so being happy with a purpose can make you feel good and and really strengthen your health and not only are you bringing happiness to your life but you're bringing happiness to other people's lives and I have to say when you see a happy person whether it be in work on the streets wherever it is you know they have a big grin on their face you can just tell their loving life you can't help but also smile you can't help it and happiness is infectious happy people tend to to gravitate toward other happy people but when you're happy you are affecting everyone around you mm -hmm. absolutely so why not be happy <laughs> the number needs to change doesn't it one but, in three Americans hopefully in e one day maybe Marbeth they can be three and three Americans <laughs> well that's the day really that we're happy. striving for because I I believe that when you are living from your heart when you are happy then you're affecting the world and so the more people that we have that are happy the happier world we're going to have wonderful now Marbeth you're going to be doing something special on the show for the month of October tell our viewers what they're going to be seeing from you well during the month of October I'm going to be sharing the 31 lessons that you can do every day one lesson a day for health wealth and happiness it's part of my joy strategy each lesson builds on the one before so that by day 31 you're going to be in a completely different place you're going to be feeling good you're going to be more energized and happier and open to more possibilities well I'm looking forward to all of these tips so all during the month of October we will have little tips from Marbeth scattered throughout each show and Marbeth you're saying that if we apply these skills to our lives we're on our way to a happier happier life yay <laughs> <laughs> which of course which is a good thing a wonderful thing it is always a pleasure having you on thank you thank you for being back here today and you will be here again next month and of course please look for Mar Beth's happiness tips which will be all through October's show thanks Jenna <laughs> this has been so much fun <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's much more to come this morning, and if you want any more information on Marbeth or you'd like to pick up a copy of her book, just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. Be back after these messages.